All right, guys, so you're probably wondering, how do we maintain so much stuff in the shop? It's a lot of toys, right? A lot of stuff comes in, a lot of stuff goes out. Um, stuff's not going out, I'm not bringing stuff in, but we always have stuff going out the door. So today we had a couple collections walk in. I'll show you what we got, and uh, we'll go from there. So a lot of times what we do is, is someone will call us up and say, hey, I got a collection of so-and-so. Are you interested in it? And we'll ask them a couple questions, and... Uh, go from there. Today we had a gentleman who was moving. Uh, him and his son came in with a collection. They just don't have room for it at the new place. So what we have here is a bunch of Transformers. Now these are all from like the yeah, 2015, 16 era kind of stuff. Um, good number of them. Good quantity of Transformers here. So we get to take that stuff and put it on our Transformer shelf. This box is from another collection that came in. Got a couple big collections coming today, actually. A lot of Jurassic Park stuff came in. So we have the, the lunch boxes. These all have the thermoses. Um, these are from the original Jurassic Park Part 3 and the Lost World. So this gent was into Jurassic Park. As you can see, there are a ton of dinosaurs, a ton of people from Jurassic Park. So we got a bunch of Amber Collection stuff. Um, we got Velociraptors out the yin yang. We got all kinds of stuff here. Let's kind of show you guys some of it. Bunch of that kind of stuff here. Um, I don't have a lot of Jurassic Park. I was actually talking yesterday. I was like, you know, I don't get in the shop a lot of is Jurassic Park stuff. Um, and lo and behold, today we did get a ton of Jurassic Park stuff. So this is one of the collections that came in. Um, got some more dinosaurs. Got a couple board games here. This one's open. This bottom one here, this big one, this guy's actually not open. This thing's still factory sealed. That's a big board game. Like these are your typical board game sizes. Look how much bigger that thing is than those guys so that's one of the collections that came in today the other one that came in was a vintage star wars collection um actually that's three i guess one doesn't really count as a collection someone brought like three toys in like darth vader here who's in time out came in, in that collection but um the other collection we got in was some star wars stuff so i'll show you what we got and we have been rearranging a little bit so if you guys have been in the shop, have been watching the videos, you'll notice stuff kind of changes regularly. Um, one, we sell out of stuff and we need to restock an area, so we'll kind of condense, like, right there is going to be some stuff going in. We did rearrange some stuff. Oh, here, I'll show you. I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent. I'll show you this other collection, but kind of show you some of the stuff we did in here. So I was able to move up one of these shelves, just one slot, and that was able to give me an entire another row for uh, the NECA stuff. So this is a giant wall of NECA. And it's not just one of each thing. I mean, these things, they're they are multiple deep. So when we did that, we were able to clear up some space, clean it up a little bit. Um, and I'm always trying to keep this place well stocked, but also keep it clutter free. Um, I don't want it to be where you walk in and it's just like just too much stuff and it just feels cluttery. Um, so we're always trying to make room. And sometimes, you know, to make the room, all we do is we, you have to move a couple hooks up and switch some of the inventory and you're able to get another row going down. For example, over here, I was able to like shift all of these down. None of them are touching the ground with these Super 7s. And I was able to throw another shelf in here, which allowed me to take all these geeky tiki's and some of this other kind of He-Man stuff that was on this wall here. If you remember, this was all Masters of the Universe stuff. And I was able to take these G.I. Joe reaction figures and get them all out there. And I just think it looks so much better when you have a, it looks like an old toy store from when you were a kid. Just a wall of the same toy. Now, love them or hate them, um, these reaction figures, they're... they're they're all right. I mean, I think Super 7 was a little uh, overzealous when they made 9 of the Sailor with different skin tones and different uh, facial hair. But um, if you got to have them, there they are. Arctic Rescue Vehicle. Some of the other changes we made, we were able to... Well, I forgot what was here, but we moved all the wrestling stuff to one area. Most of it was one area, but we had a couple um walls of stuff that were just kind of spread throughout we're always updating always changing the way it looks in here um one to keep product moving and stuff keeps selling and we have to re replenish spots but um we we ended up switching i think it was wrestling down here and then i had some i had some here so that's why there's just some different stuff there i still haven't finished that in but i'm always ending up with empty spots and a lot of that is just from one from inventory selling but two making stuff fit on these racks better and as i go i'm just learning new ways to do stuff and uh, more stuff to put out so we moved to the mythic legion so the first thing you see when you come in um instead of having i think we had like some of these baskets of loose toys and everything where you first walked in it was kind of here but i decided to change it so you come in and we're going to have some of the new product that's out like these uh, new he-man figures we just got those in um and then the mythic legions here which are pretty popular so i wanted to have those right there instead of tucked around the corner 
And again, we were able to move this stuff down one row um, and get another another row of stuff in. And it was just a matter of moving some of these boxes that were different shapes. Like I think some of the stuff that was on here was, I forget what box it was, like this guy and a, a couple other random shaped boxes. Well, by moving those out, I was able to fit more of these in because they were all kind of the same shape. And as you can see, I'm going to be able to do another row of Marvel Legends down there. I just got to find a new home for that stuff, which we will do. Got a ton of these guys in. Those guys are cool. The three Jokers wave. We just got those guys in the other day. So we got a bunch of those. And if you need those. And then over here, we kind of got this all organized and cleaned up some. Uh, Mary helped us out and got this kind of cleaned up. So it doesn't look like as much of a cluster. Um, looks not a lot neater. And again, just trying to get more stuff in. The more merchandise that's out, the more stuff that's out for you guys to see. Find something you like. Um, and we're just kind of... You know, we've only been doing this for what, like three months, maybe almost four months. I'm um, at this point, so it's still it's still new to me. It's still a new game. We're still kind of learning the uh, the routines and what works and what doesn't work. So we're gonna go check out that Star Wars collection. It came in eh, about half an hour before that uh, Lost World Jurassic Park collection came in. So I need to uh, I needed to take it upstairs. So I ran all that stuff upstairs for sorting. All right, guys. So the Jurassic Park stuff, the Transformer stuff, really cool. Um, that stuff's already been priced. It's already on the floor if you guys are interested in any of that. But we are going to look at the Star Wars stuff now. Which, ta-da, is right here. So it's some Star Wars and some, um, I think it's Lost in Space maybe? Or um, Battlestar Galactic or maybe a little bit of each. So right off the bat you'll notice, and this is all upstairs. Like I said, we just had to move it all upstairs because I had the Jurassic Park collection coming in. Um, we are clearing out a nice big section right here. We got some plans for up here, um, which is going to have to do with like online sales. So I want to have a little area for pictures and, and whatnot. Like I said, we're going to start doing um, some online stuff as far as the online auctions and whatnot go. So as you guys know, Boba Fett is super hot, and this 12-inch figure is awesome. This thing is complete. It is in the box. It's actually in really nice shape. Uh, the one thing I will say about this collection, uh, the boxes that are here, they're in decent shape. It's not like that one collection that we got in that uh, that basement that Ray had. I mean, those were pristine. I mean, these are nice boxes. Don't get me wrong. It's nice to have the boxes. Um, and I'm not complaining. I'll never complain when I get a box. But um, some of them are a little bit crunchy. So we have a, a land speeder here. A lot of neat stuff. Um, we have Tauntaun. So inside of here, and I'm hoping I get this tape off, um, Trooper Lizard. So what's in here is a Tauntaun. It is the uh, regular one, not the open belly one, and then a um, Dubak. Those are both in really nice shape, but I'm going to try to hit that with a little, um, like a hair dryer or something to see if I can get that tape off without ripping this cardboard. Because that would be horrible. Two speeder bikes. These are both in the boxes. The boxes are actually in pretty decent shape for speeder bikes. Back in the day, these were eight dollars and ninety-seven cents at K and K Toys. So we've already checked inside of all these boxes. Those are actually really nice shape. Um, we have a snow speeder, rebel armored one. That's actually in really nice shape. I haven't tested it because I didn't have batteries, but the contacts look really clean. It doesn't look like there's any issues with it. Um, we have the interior. Interior. The interior. Um, Imperial Attack base playset. That is complete as well. Um, it's actually really, really nice and bright. Normally this kind of stuff can yellow. But this one has not. Is this the side that's open? As you guys can see. It's really nice and bright white. Um, all the pieces are there. So that thing is actually pretty much ready to go downstairs. So that'll probably be downstairs on the floor here uh, in the next day or so. We have another Boba Fett Slave 1 spaceship that's complete. It has Han and Carbonite and all that stuff. The box isn't the nicest, but it'll do. As you can see, it's got, you know, some some little bangs and dents and stuff from being uh, packed away over the years. But the box still exists, which is awesome. Cloud City playset. Box is a little smushy, um, but it does have all the cardboard inside. And most of the pegs. I think I have extra pegs just in case. We have a Scout Walker here. The lighting upstairs is not as good as lighting downstairs, so I apologize if we get some shadows. But this stuff just happened to be up here. So we got the Scout Walker. That one's really clean and nice, too. It's in the box, obviously. And I believe that has the uh, cardboard inserts, too. And then we have a TIE Fighter down here, and this is the white one. One of the sides, I don't know if the spring is just um, needs to be worked, but the, uh, the feature... 
where the wings pop out doesn't work on one of the sides. And it looks like there might be a little rust inside there. I don't think you can see it. Um, so I don't know if there's a way for me to clean that up or, or do something. One side works, the other side doesn't pop out. But still, it is pretty nice. It's, it's uh, you know, hasn't really yellowed all that bad, um, but it does have a little bit of discoloration. All right, next up we have this tie or this uh, X-wing fighter. It's in pretty decent shape. It looks like it's got some discoloration, but it might just be dirt um, from a '70s child. And the cockpit cover fell off. Oh, has that been painted to look black? I think it has, because they're not supposed to have that black on it. Um, so that might have to be cleaned up a little bit, um, but still pretty cool. And then we do have a Millennium Falcon. This is another one in the box. Um, this one is actually complete with the exception of, and I know everyone's thinking, it doesn't have the training ball. Well, it does. The only thing it's missing is the uh, compartment for the hidden cargo um, on the inside, which I actually have like a bunch of extra ones, and I never find that ball. So the fact that this one has the ball um, is pretty cool. I think I, I probably have like six Millennium Falcons in the box, and I only have two balls. Oh my, okay. All right, stop, stop, guys. You know what I mean. All right, <clears throat> so next up. We have some more boxed goodness here. So we have the twin car, twin pod cloud car. We have this Obi-Wan Kenobi in the box. Now he is missing his belt, which for those of you who know, the belt is basically like a sandwich tie that's brown, but he does have his lightsaber and everything else. We have the tripod laser cannon. That's complete in the box. We got a Wampa. Which is actually, the, the box on him is not bad. This is actually a nice box other than that tear. But it's nice bright colors. Edges are nice and crisp. And it was $7 and something cents back in the day. That is awesome. So, and then last but not least in here we have the Cap 2 Captivator with Bosk. Now this was never actually in any of the shows. But um, none of the mini rigs were. And that's actually a pretty nice box and that's complete as well. So, what else do we have here, you're saying to yourself? Well, we have all the manuals and stuff for everything in there. So let's move on over to our giant box here. Now, this is where most of the figures are going to be. We do have a um, Han Solo Pew Pew. It's missing one of the little things here. I did not have batteries to test this thing out. I found them later. I couldn't find the C batteries I had, but they ended up being stuck in something else. All right, so we do have some vehicle or some people here, some figures um i think these are, are these lost in space or battlestar galactica or maybe black hole i think they're i think they're black hole actually so um this one's not i think that one's a battlestar little forearm weirdo this one's battlestar so we have some figures with no eyeballs and we got i think what's his name i forget his name but he normally doesn't have a tail i have a couple of them with, with no tail and this is twiggy i think all right, so, sorry, I got a phone call, so if there's a weird jolt in there, that's why. Now, these ones, I'm not 100% sure what line they are. Like I said, um, I think this guy's black hole. Okay? All right, so we got two of this guy. And I'll, I'll be able to look him up and figure out who he is, um, but I'm just not a, super familiar with that guy. And then next up, we have some more 12-inchers here. We have uh, C-3PO, who's wrapped up like a sandwich. Delicious, but his gold is uh, pretty good. Doesn't have a lot of scuffing, which is nice. We have two more, oh no, three more big ones. So we have um, old Luke here. He is complete, but he's a little dirty. Um, might have to hand wash his uh, tunic there. He looks like he's a moisture farmer. Then we got a naked Wookiee. So there's actually two Chewbacca's in the set. Um, and neither of them have their bandoliers, but both of them have their uh, bow blasters, so that's good. Pew, pew, pew. That is a horrible, horrible noise. Or attempt, anyways, at a uh, bow blaster sound. We have a little jaw wall here. I think he's complete. I think that's all he came with. Um, so he's pretty nice. Oh, you see it, don't you? Oh, lots of figures. And here's the other naked Wookiee. Um, in decent shape. Their arms are on there. I just need bandoliers. I might have some from some uh, more beater ones. And then we have the uh, C3P or um, R2 here. And his, he still makes the click noise when you turn the head. I haven't opened the compartment. 
Um, but I should probably open that up. Um, and let's see here. So we have a ton of the accessories. Now I don't know if every single figure is complete. I got new shoes today. Denise picked these up for me because uh, standing on this floor all day, every day, has been tearing my feet up. Um, so we got a lot of the accessories in here. It looks like, there's, I mean, I don't know if it's every single one. But we do have a bunch of different blasters. Now, I, this is not a Star Wars weapon, so I don't know if this goes to one of the Battlestar guys um, or what. But that's in there as well. So there are a lot of them. And then here's the mail away. There was a, um, I believe that went to this. So there's a boss here that's still in a little bag. So I, that might have went with that. And then we got a bunch of figures here. So these figures, some of them are clean. Um, you know, some of them have some yellowing. The stormtroopers, like you get to see the difference when I flip them over, how different that color is. But there's a bunch of stormtroopers. I want to say there's four or five of them in here, and I think every single one of them is faded. Um, but we have a complete Yoder, orange snake, and then we do have a Vader. So now some of the, sometimes I'll find these figures, and they get this like crystallized. I don't know what's on there. Um, it wipes off. Um, but it's still kind of gross. It's going to take a little more time to clean, and I don't know how nice he's going to be after he's done, but he does have the saber, which, if all else fails, I can switch out with a nicer Vader. I have Luke here with the little uh, backpack for Yoda. We got a couple Hoth soldiers, some Ewoks, Death Swat uh, commanders. We got Gonk here. We got the Imperial uh, Guard. We got a Greedo. Glad I have a Greedo. I just sold a Greedo out of the case today, so I'm going to go replace the Greedo I sold with this Greedo. All right, we have a Jedi Luke with the Snap Cape. I'm pretty sure I saw a Saber, and it was the uh, green one, not the blue one. We have a pop-up R2, um, or a Sensor Scope. I wish it was a pop-up one. We got Walrus Man, a couple Jawas. All right, um, we got Lando... Got Han. So some of these get that like tacky feeling. I don't know if it's just because they're dirty or if it is the, the plasticides coming out. That's just something you deal with with old toys. Um, there's nothing here. Nothing to see there, D. Got the Admiral. So as you can see, a lot of, you know, some common figures. Um, we do have a couple snow bikes, or snow bikes, some snow troopers who have their skirts still, which is nice. I think we got two of those that are still skirted up. Chewy, some Ewoks couple of uh, four loms. This is not the hollow cheek Tuscan. I already checked. So there's some decent stuff in here. Um, you got Obi with his saber. And I believe there's a farm boy Luke in here with a saber too. Yep. So, so some pretty cool stuff, guys. Um, I'm going to work on getting this stuff. Now oh, there's Leia's Bosch. Um, work on getting the stuff cleaned up, matched up with all their accessories and uh, out on the floor. Obviously, I have a ton of stuff already in the cases, but it's good to have this stuff as backup. So when something sells out of there, I just have this stuff and I can come up and grab another speeder bike scout or whatever and throw it in the case. So pretty neat little haul. Oh wait, there is something else I forgot. There's some of these like candy dispensers too. They're empty. I wish they weren't because you know, someone would try it. Um, that one looks like, yeah, this kid had a little fun with the markers. Not some of them, but. Those are pretty neat. Those things are really cool. We got the Boba Fett one and all that stuff. So that is that, guys. I got a ton of work to do. Um, I got to get this stuff done and sorted and on the floor. And uh, we're going to go from there. But we will see you at the shop, guys. Sarge out. That is not what he sounds like. All right. Much better. Catch you guys next time.